Would it be okay if I go in here? Is there gonna be a mama worker? A Kwama mama? <laughs> Today is your lucky Farewell, day. Mr. Hariskar. Thank you for the tip. I could use just a bit more gold, indeed. Ah. <laughs> uh, these Nords, these Imperials, so trusting. That's fine with me. I can make a shiny profit. Is there something you need? Well, I, I would like to have a word with you, gorgeous lady. So, Brando, you need to say the need that you'd like some help finding your way around? Very sensible. Go ahead. Ask away. Looking for services? Some specific place? Someone in particular? Or just need a little advice? Whatever it is, I'm happy to help. A little advice would go a long way, my lady. It pays to take it slow when you first come to Morrowind. When you talk to folks, keep an eye on their dispositions. They'll let you know if the, you don't like them, and it's smart to get a, get on Flaw's good side before you ask for a favor. True enough? Your disposition is well. I do appreciate you, woman. Oh, watch where you're going, Mr. Votiges Nuncius. Greetings. He's do Italian, man. What do you want? If you're looking to get out of Sydney, I'll be happy to give you a little advice. No, I just want to tell you to get out of my way! You wanna do something about it? You wanna do something about it? You wanna do something? Walk away, bro. Just walk away. You think it's worth it, kid? Fucking punk. Oh! I hate when I have to get my fur all ruffled up, you know. Generally a pretty nice guy, but I'm not backing down from a challenge. I don't wear shoes, so when you step on my feet, it hurts. I should smack you in the face with my claws. Maybe that will hurt as well. Ah, so much water. I'm glad I have not had to step through any just yet. Anyone in here? Oh, hello, kitten. So, Brenda, you need to say the Neen. Yes, yes. Somebody I spoke to earlier said that same thing. It's very really strange. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? I need some privacy, woman. Stay away from me. Up the stairs where you can't see me take things. Grief. Hmm. Bread. Hmm. My, that's an expensive book you have there. Unarmored skill increased. I feel quite strong. I shall take this book and study its contents a bit later, perhaps. Hmm. Top of the lighthouse. It does have its charms, I suppose. This mud, muddy little swampland. Well, I'm supposed to wait for Fargoth, but uh, he's not going to be around until the night. So let us uh, have a little cat nap. Mm. Morning is so nice. Oh, look at what's this? Are you so sneaky, Mr. Fargo? With the town guard walking up your backside? <laughs> what a fool these elves are. Over this way? Do you hide your loot in the lighthouse, Mr. Fargo? Give it a pretty thorough search. I don't think he came all the way over here. Hmm. Where are you, tricksy little elf? Ah. In 
the pond, is it? Uh, uh, I don't want to... Brandar, he goes to the pond, uh, he has to... Alright, here we are in the gross swampland, once more. How exciting. Look at this glowy. Mushrooms mean sweat. Let's just to collect them. Oh, we're very close to the water. Okay, need to leave now. Goodbye, Brandar does not like. Quite awful. Tree stump, where are you? Want to see what you got in you? Hello, friend. Hey, I'm a cat man. I can probably help you. Are you looking for services? Only the alehouse, huh? Well, I don't find much interest in that. Mushrooms? And how do I do this one? My alteration was stronger, maybe I could walk on top of water. Seems a bit closer on this side, maybe I can... <gasps> okay, it's fine, it's fine. Big payday for this one, Brendan. Okay. Ooh. Talking. Alright. Close, close, reach. Ah! 300 gold. Lock, pick. And the ring I gave him back. My goodness, what a score. We didn't even have to touch the water. Could go give that guy his share for the tip. But he'll probably give me the smaller share, which is not fair. Is there something I can? I do did for most of the work. I had to have a wonderful nap on top of the watchtower. It's not fair. I deserve all the gold. Maybe someday I will write a song for him, and he will thank me. Brenda, the wonder. I suppose we should head to Balmora. Everyone seems inclined to me here for helping out that Fargoth fellow. Fargoth, hello, friend! Yes, tell me about your hiding place, huh? Hiding place? I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. Well, somebody's quite sensitive, no? Farewell, Fargoth! I hope to see you in the future. I hope to see you in the moment that you open up your stupid hollow log <laughs> and find out that this newcomer has taken everything. One day you'll figure it out. Though I don't know that you will ever know it was me. Which is the way I prefer it. You have to keep these contacts open, you understand. Where did I put that? Let's just have a bite to eat. Mm. Wonderful. I also want to get my night eye. Show me the world. Yes. This is the way I like it. They did say north to Balmora. And I believe this is the way. Hopefully we will not find too much trouble. Mm. Quite dark out tonight. I do enjoy a walk in the dark. Everything after the night is so peaceful. Whoa. What 
did just happen to this fellow? Did he curse himself? Well... I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I'm developing. With it, I'll be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I'll test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I'll have worked out all the co possible complications. It'll allow me to leap great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, bolting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of the spell of flying. Of a spell of flying. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished, and all my recalculations recalcul are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. I'm not sure success is the word for it, my friend. But, uh, perhaps you have some things. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. I might save my claws a little bit. Some gold. Your robe is also worth something, although I hate to leave you out here in the cold. Let us take this flight scroll. Wonderful. Rest in peace, young wizard. Curiosity can kill the cat. <laughs> Look at this sword I've gotten. It's quite nice. Perhaps it will find some use with us. Where are we headed? Well, not to Balmora, apparently. But I tend to disagree. Perhaps Balmora is just over this crest. I do wish the Emperor would provide me with the... Uh, Better instructions. Oh, what's this? Hello, little friend. And now you will see where the dar in my name comes from. I've been paralyzed. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, wow. He got his hits in. I'll give him that much. Unfortunately, not quite enough. Hmm. It is quite dangerous out here. A different kind of dangerous. Where normally I would have to worry about other mammals. Lions and tigers. Here it seems to be gigantic insects. But back home I would bat insects around for fun. So it should be not too much of a problem. What is this mess? Perhaps I should not touch it. Curiosity. I fear it. <laughs> it's like water, but goopier. It can only be worse. I refuse to give it a chance. Oh, now we seem to be completely lost. I believe we need to head eastward. I seem to have gotten us wonderfully lost with my aversion to the Silt Strider. But I don't want to sit in the inside of a giant bug while somebody tugs at his guts. I do hope that this no it does not rain. That could be the worst fate to befall me. Perhaps even then death. Could catch a chill. 
I don't want to spend all of my money on a cure disease potion. I don't know how to brew my own, unfortunately. But that is okay. Everyone is here to learn. So we shall learn one step at a time. More giant mushrooms. I don't want to touch this river. But I do see a bridge up ahead. I'm rather enjoying this forest part. As long as I don't look at all the water. Well. Look at this little fellow here. Vision, I call on me. And what is this? Disgusting. Quama. Should I beat it to death with my sword? Quite unsure what to do with this. I suppose you've done me no harm, little Quama worker. Would it be okay if I go in here? Is there gonna be a mama worker? A Quama mama? <laughs> I should like to write a song about a Quama mama. Oh my. Hello, little worm. You like those sparks, do you? I did just find this on a guy. Can you believe that? I don't know why I'm talking to the corpse of a worm. Might have made more sense when it was alive. Oh my. Night vision, please. Well, what's all this? Quama eggs. Quama eggs. Well. Hopefully we can pull a few of these out before the Quama Mama comes along. Because I don't actually want a fight. But some new alchemical ingredients sound quite... Uh oh. Uh oh. That is the Quama Mama. I'll see you later kids. It's been nice. It's natural selection. A few of every generation has to die. I'm gonna take some of your brothers and sisters and I hope you don't mind. You've been quite a good host. Quite cordial. I thank you. Goodbye! Can't believe I got away with that one. Ah, oh, the dawn breaks. Wonderful. How I did miss the sun. Ah, good day, my lady. Might you point me to Balmora? What do you need? Can you help me? I've lost my way and cannot find the holy place I am searching for. Ah, then we are both lost, my friend. Ah, what holy place are you searching for? I am a stranger to these lands, but perhaps I can help. Yes, the fields of Kumu. I'm on a pilgrimage to this holiest of places, but I seem to have lost my way. Perhaps you can help me find it. Surely you know this area better than I. I can pay you for your time, say, 150 septums? I will try and lead you to this place, my lady. Thank you so much. I know the fields of Camus, Camus are near the water. The view from there is supposed to be breathtaking. I've been told there's a farm nearby where pilgrims may just stop and rest weary legs. Well, let us depart to this place. I don't actually know where I'm going. But 150 septums? Could sniff a gold like that. I wonder if I could get her to pay me half in advance. Hmm. Then maybe we could abandon her somehow. I hate to use the word abandon, that's such a strong word. Or I do hope I would see her gorgeous face again. I rather like the Dunmo women. As much as I talk untoward towards them. Hmm. I wonder 
wonder what is in here. Ancestral tomb. Surely this is the holy place you spoke of, my lady. My goodness. What have we here? Hello? You mustn't fear the dark. Oh, she's a Denma. She doesn't fear the dark either. We're a good pair, you and I. I do think we could have a future together. Whatever lies through this door, I do hope that you shall fight and possibly even fall with me. Good day, skeleton! Have at you! Aha! Your face! Your fucking face! Yes! Two punch the skeleton! Oh, I've gotten in over my head here. Well, farewell, done, my lady! Please do hold it back. I'm feeling quite low on health all of a sudden. No alteration skills. Very little restoration skill. But I do have that ring. Yes, the ring. Do your best, ring. I do hope that dumb lady is alright. Oh shit! Oh my god! I do believe I had the shite scared right out of me. And now we're locked in here with it. This is very bad. Oh. Oh, I might see again. I'll see my own demise. This is no place for a bard. What have I done traveling in here? Oh, 150 gold, eh? Well. Not worth the death that I'm about to suffer, but it is what it is, I suppose. I woke up in a lavish room. I thought I was dead. That was not the case at all. I was rescued by an elf named Jaren Thirilis. Fargoth's neighbor, as a matter of fact. He pulled me out of that mine, and I paid him the 150 gold that I got from that poor woman. Quite unfortunate. I remember my father told me a tale of the Pied Piper who led snakes. I guess I'm kind of like that, only at that moment, I'm the one that feels a snake. May the gods carry her spirit on to the heavens. I do apologize to you, Dunma. I should have treated your life with a lot more care. Now I shall sit here and have a think and a drink with my new friend Draren. But uh, I do hope that you will join me for the continuing adventure to Balmora. Perhaps I'll get over and take a silt, silt strider. Perhaps I'll just try a different road. But either way, the quest must continue, regardless of any loss that may have been incurred. <sighs> a reminder to always be more cautious. Until the next time, friends. Goodbye.